Hi Aquarius, welcome to your January full moon in Cancer love tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, we're looking at the full moon, which can be about endings. It can be about uh, closures. It also can be a full circle. And Cancer energy can be about taking a good look at what um, relationships in our life actually bring us uh, healing, a balanced energy, which really help us, which uh, connections really help us to like move forward and drive forward in a positive way as well. So we'll see how that plays in to your lover. I just want to say I'm not an astrologist. I just know itty bitty tiny bit. So I'm just here to read the energy. All right, Aquarius, welcome in. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this Time. Let's see what we have for you, for Aquarius, for this January full moon in Cancer. And we have contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. I tell you, a lot of these, um, most of these readings have been about new love, but we'll see where this is going. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Let's see. Consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. In waves of prosperity, no new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you. Now, are some of you contemplating divorce? Just saying, because we have consult an expert here, or maybe some of you are recently divorced, but you're really thinking about uh, something here that you're wa either wanting advice or guidance on, and it doesn't have to be that. If this could be getting some sort of counseling or therapy or something like that to get more positive energy or help your energy become more positive. And it does say here, you know, by helping yourself, that makes sense for you. Now, I do have to say, Aquarius, that if you're like, well, this isn't my energy, um, it could be someone you're dealing with. So I always say you can switch the energies around if you need to. But I kind of feel like here... Um, so abundance and prosperity is new opportunities are trying to come in or are coming in for you. And I think you need to be ready for them. That's kind of what I feel like, uh, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, the general collective reading. Only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip it, switch it when you need to, cross watchers as well. All right, and everything you need to know is down below, and I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. All right, so Aquarius, let's see. Ooh, three of pentacles. Maybe there's been something here. You've been kind of been not wanting to uh, put the work into. Let's see. King of cups. I think it's about love and emotions. I think you've been hiding the fact that there's some sort of healing. Now, this could be someone you're dealing with. Um, I don't know what these readings. I'm kind of feeling it as it's first person, like the sign I'm reading for. But sometimes I feel like it's the other person so let's see page of source well that's you Aquarius so so I feel like we're definitely talking about you let's get a couple more here five of cups sadness loss grief and sorrow let's see the knight of pentacles so something's been a slow process for you here um, Aquarius I definitely feel like that with the knight of pentacles and I feel that energy of getting prepared getting ready, prepared, getting the um, the advice, the guidance, whatever you need here to stop planning out your future, getting ready for the future, uh, and um, moving away from any sadness, loss, or grief you may have experienced um, in the future, you know, in the past, uh, in the future, that doesn't even make sense, in the past, I mean, uh, and this page of swords can be communicating, so maybe going to a specialist or an expert or something like that and it could be about matters of the heart because we do have the King of Cups here. And maybe this is something you've been kind of putting off with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. You know, maybe saying, well, I just don't have time or maybe making excuses. I don't know. And again, you could switch it. I know I'm going to keep saying that, but I know I'm going to get very defensive comments. It's not me. If you strongly feel that and it's someone else, you definitely could switch it around. Um, but I kind of feel like some of you definitely have let something go. And this is about getting yourself ready are prepared for something coming in for you. 
There could be somebody you're talking to online because we do have the Page of Swords here. But there could be lot, uh, a lot of um, not really wanting to open up in a romantic way with that King of Cups because sometimes that can be... Um, sometimes the King of Cups can be... I don't want to say shady, but doesn't always express his, his true love and emotions as well. Nine of Rods. Yeah, having a little bit of a wall up here. Maybe a little defensiveness. This is about perseverance, though. Not giving up so easily. Six of Cups. So there's something about your past. You've been kind of keeping it to yourself here. The High Priestess energy. That is about intuition, but also can be about keeping things to ourself. And it has to do with the past here, which has kind of put you in an energy of having some walls up. I kind of feel like that, Aquarius. But it's about getting ready, looking out to the future. Time to invest in yourself as well. Oh, so we have Pisces showing up here. Taurus, Aquarius, Pisces. All right, let's see what else we need to know for you. Aquarius. Again, Aquarius, everything you need to know is down below. Uh, my other channels down below. Uh, see, I think your fire is definitely dimming out here. My other channels down below, my smaller uh, channel. It's all generalized kind of readings if you like that kind of thing. So playlist for both channels is below. And the list of readings I do for both channels is down below as well. All right. So let's see what else here for Aquarius. That's way too many. Magician. So something new is coming in. I feel like if you're ready or not, something's happening. It's like, ready or not, Aquarius, because here it comes. <laughs> so, seven of Rods. You may be, if you're not in the right energy, you may be a little defensive on guard. You may actually block it. Empress. But this is about standing in your Empress energy, doing the healing, being strong, confident, courageous, brave, bold, knowing your value and worth, knowing you can have everything you deserve and being ready for that. Lovers in reverse. And the moon in reverse. Hmm. So there is a soulmate connection coming with the lovers in reverse. But the moon in reverse is good because we are talking about this full moon. It's about getting over fear and just trusting our intuition and moving forward fearlessly here. But the lovers in reverse can be about not really making a decision. Um... And it can be about soulmate energy as well. But I kind of feel like here, if you're not in the right energy, you may disregard this um, connection coming in. But I think it's coming in either way. So I think it, you need to be ready for this. But it's coming. So we have Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Gemini again, Pisces again. Oh, the devil. Queen of Rods in reverse and the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, you could have been dealing with a nasty person in the past. We have Capricorn and Aries here. Definitely was over. You know, this Queen of Rods can be very selfish, um, childish, um, very egotistic kind of energy as well. Nine of Rods. So no wonder why you're kind of um, feeling worn out here. Oh, let's see. We have Aries and Capricorn. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what else we want to know. I just want to light this candle because I like to have all my... Whoops. <laughs> have all my candles lit. So let's bring some more fire to your energy. All right, releasing the past, getting ready, letting the new in. All right. All right, let's see, Aquarius. Aquarius, I do have a new reading on my other channel uh, for January. They're all out now, and it's um, spiritual guidance. And it's all kind of tool spiritual guidance for you to help navigate your month. And I give you all kind of things to work with, like a spirit animal, uh, archangel, um, a chakra, a crystal, an affirmation, uh, just all kind of things like that. And some tarot, a little tarot reading throw in, thrown in there. So if you want to check that out, you know, you, could, you can. There'll be a, probably a card at the end of this or somewhere at the top here. Or you can check the playlist down below. All right. It was something different and lots of fun. I'll probably be doing it every month. All right. So what else, Aquarius? Four of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Nine of Rods. So four of Wards. Four of Wards. <laughs> 
Four of Swords is kind of like the contemplation time. So maybe you've been putting that off the healing, the, you know, getting back to yourself, taking a time out. And this could leave you very worn out and um, on edge is kind of what I'm feeling. Knight of Cups, because romance is coming in. I don't care what you say, Aquarius. Six of Pentacles, but you need to be balanced. Two of Swords, because you may be, if you're not balanced, you may be indecisive and you may actually block it. I keep getting that because this say waves of prosperity are washing over you now and we did see the devil which is capricorn we are in capricorn season right now and then we also have the moon right there which we're talking about the full moon um it's in cancer i don't have any cancer cards yet here but uh we'll see as we go but definitely here this is the forward movement according to Dana getting to know romance is coming in being in a balanced energy and being in the energy not to block this is kind of what I feel. So doing that time out, healing, whatever you need to do here to kind of let your walls down a little bit here because it's coming in either way. So we have Scorpio, Tower, yeah, big shift, shock, surprise coming in for you. Awakening, epiphany, aha moment, page of pentacles. Well, there's the chariot, there's the cancer energy. Page of pentacles in reverse. Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment. I think with this Page of Pentacles in reverse, this may be someone who, I don't know if you kind of meet them on, online and you're not even expecting them to maybe um, want to meet up with you or get to know you. You know, maybe you think, oh yeah, it's just someone I talk to online now and then or, you know, and they kind of want to <laughs> take you out or do something if you live close by of course sometimes people we know online we don't live near them but this knight is coming in with the pentacle and it's right here but um you know and the chariot is positive movement forward again there, maybe there's a little bit of traveling or distance but this is about balance as well and being successful so we have Cancer, Aries, Capricorn showing up again with the Page of Pentacles. Again, you may you may refuse it, or you may not even see this coming. This surprise, I don't want to say it's a surprise, but this um, offer. So it's like, be ready or not, because you will be surprised, but you'll, you, you know, if you're in the right energy, you'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds good. But otherwise, you'll be like, nah, hell no. And you may actually miss out on something good here. All right. Okay. Ace of Swords, so Divine Clarity from Soros. Well, that took my attention here. <laughs> so Divine Clarity, successful new beginning, awakening, epiphany, aha moment, cutting away things no longer serving, having total clarity. Six of Cups, something from the past you need more. in Either a clearing, because you could clear away with this Ace of Swords, so something definitely in your past needs to be cleared away here that you're kind of holding in, keeping to yourself. This keeps coming up. Maybe refusing to do the work or working on it. But, you know, this is, you know, moving forward into peace, harmony, balance and leaving all this BS behind. Definitely here. Four of Pentacles. So I'm blocking your heart chakra because something's coming in. Hangman in reverse. There's that page of Pentacles in reverse again. Four of Wands. Just saying, this could be something down the road that could lead to something serious, I feel. But, you know, it's coming in here, but I feel like it hasn't, maybe hasn't happened yet, or it's coming soon. Anytime Capricorn season, I feel. And you want to be ready to take action here and be enlightened uh, to not block it. I, I just keep, I know I sound like I'm repeating myself, Aquarius, but this is definitely the message coming in. But I want to see more about the new energy here turn out to be a lot of these kind of like a singles reading in a way but I will be doing after these uh, singles looking for new love then we'll be doing I'll be doing the new moon and Capricorn love readings then we'll go into February already can you believe that all right so I want to see about this connection this new person Aquarius oh three of swords all right why is that here page of cups See, I would want this Three of Swords in reverse because that means you're over the heartache and pain of the past and you're ready to let new romance in with this Page of Cups. Eight of Swords in reverse, that was good. It's about getting out of mental entrapment, setting yourself free. 
Nine of Pentacles, single, independent, abundant. That's like the minor of the Empress. Five of Rods. So you may be a little conflicted about this. I'm going to turn this. I don't know if you watch Ramblin' Mike, but every time he gets the Three Swords, he shakes it out, out, out. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Out. Getting over that. Definitely with the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords in reverse. Here comes the new love. You're single and independent. This Five of Rods, though... Yeah, I keep getting like, oh, what wants to come in as a brand new beginning in love. So getting over the conflict, let's turn that in reverse, and I know, but I'm doing this to help you. And no longer holding back to let this new love in. Ready or not, here it comes. Be ready to let this new love in. That's kind of what I feel here. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Very stable, grounded, secure, independent energy. Queen of Swords. Well, that could be you, Aquarius as well so having the clarity of mind and the stability you want to sit in here so if we had four queens it would be the empress but we do have the empress here anyway we have capricorn that could be you libra for me it's uh libra aquarius for me it's libra is what i meant to say and here comes the exciting new beginning this is like the two of wands with the page and the ace new path opening up for you some sort of invitation communication comes in here and it's a big surprise. I feel like it could be a surprise or unexpected, rather. And it's like, be ready. You know, having the mental awareness and the stability of mind to be ready for this. I just keep getting that. I keep getting that. All right, Aquarius. So, so I do think someone coming in here um, is going to be very single, stable, grounded, independent. Someone who's definitely free because of the Eight of Swords in reverse. Who is very sincere as well. Could be a little flirting, you know, maybe starting off small, gradually building up to something bigger as well. Somebody could have children because we'd have the fish in the cup. It doesn't have to be. All right, Aquarius. So, let's see. And again, Aquarius, everything you need to know is down below, so you can check that out. My other channel, playlist and list of readings for both channels. And feel free to check the new uh, spiritual guidance readings I mentioned. And the generals are going out on the other channel for January as well. I believe yours is already out, so I'll probably have that um, somewhere in this video as well. All right, what does Aquarius need to know? Present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So it's about being in the present moment and getting ready, because I do, like I said, I believe this is happening, like that. that's Capricorn again with the Queen Pentacles. So something during Capricorn season expression you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love you have being ready to express kind of rainbow colors here which is about luck expansion all right unity oh my goodness you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe and this just flew out across the table a little bit here i don't know if you've seen that and we have patience you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. So definitely here, Aquarius, be in the present moment. Get ready for this. Being free to express, accept this new romance coming in. We do have unity and patient. So, you know, I, I think you're going to be meeting someone who is very, very patient as well. So if you're like, well, I need to slow walk this, I think they'll have no problem with that as well. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything's below. Happy New Year. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.